Hello, hello everybody. Angie here. I am coming on with a fun video for you guys, a fun little make, um, at least in my mind. <laughs> I always have a project and immediately if I think it's going to turn out to be something nice, I try to share that with you guys. And it has been a while since I've done my fun Friday freebie videos where I post on Fridays and it's using a free digital that was put out there for us crafters somewhere, whether it be a Facebook channel, YouTube, um, subscriber, freebie, whatever. Um, these creators work so hard to create these for, um, free um, digital pieces for us and I like to um, highlight those when I can. So I was having a kind of a series some time ago on those and um, I stopped because I was kind of running out of pieces but I've just recently got a free digital that I think is just absolutely beautiful and immediately it gave me an idea for a make. So I have not pre-made it. I have not. It's all in my head and hopefully this works out. I'm sure it will. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. Here is the freebie. You get this beautiful envelope and like a, I don't know, like a strip. I don't know exactly what you want to use those for. Um, that and then this. So it's a two piece. And you get either two tags or you can fold them over on each other and they'll be both be, you know, covered. They'll have a, you know, um, side on both. And then just some beautiful mushroom elements, some little labels and smaller elements, little stamps, and then just a little um, colored sheet there. But isn't that gorgeous? I got this off of, let's see, I wrote it down, playing with paper and glue over on Facebook. Isn't that gorgeous? absolutely stunning so we've got to do something with this now I have just to save a little bit of time I printed out two pages of each okay so I did two of the envelopes and then two of the embellishments and tags and whatnots okay to make this project save a little bit of time I have already backed one page onto some poster board just to strengthen it a little bit okay so we're going to do the second one the same way and I have already cut out one of the pages. So I've cut out one envelope and one of the second page, all those bits, okay? And I just wanted to show you those digitals before I got started, so I didn't want to cut them both up, okay? So I'm not going to back the envelopes, okay? But I am going to back the other ones of these. So I have another piece of poster board so we're going to start there. We're going to get we're going to move quickly cuz I want to get this project done in one video. And um let me grab some scissors here and show you what my idea is. I think it's going to be really really cute. All right, let's start with one piece. And let's let's see. I think I want to back that. Um and then these bits here, I don't need those, I don't think. And probably not that. Well, I did back one of them, so we should have enough room. Okay, we're going to leave the strip out and then the uh, stamps and the little numbered labels out. But we're going to back the other pieces. And I'm just going to use some glue stick. And we're just going to get this down real fast and cut these out. So we can start playing and put this together. Okay. So I'm going to try and move quickly here. Well, that's kind of drying just a bit and where's my press that down all right we're going to cut out the other one first and I'm going to bring up my 
guillotine cutter so it can help me move a little bit faster. I'm going to cut this out. get it as straight as I can. And I'm going to be using these as two pieces rather than one. I don't know how it was intended. I guess however you want to use it, basically. But I'm going to be using it as two separate tags. Okay. So I'll have four all together. these two with some scissors here. And I can trim those out a little bit better. Cut out. Cut these ones out. Almost done, guys. Trying to cut quickly. All right, 
this out of the way. All right, all we have left is this. I'm gonna have to do this one by hand for the most part. I think I could do the strip real quick with my guillotine, but the rest I'll have to do manually. Let's try and get that straight. Now, what I have in mind to make, it's gonna be just a really cute, I don't know, I'm gonna call it a, I don't know, a tag, a tag booklet, tag folio, tag. Oh, you can give it your own name if you like the project, but um, I love making projects like this because you can adapt and make them your own. You can customize them and make them any size. And they work well as standalone pieces, as well as something really beautiful to tuck into a journal, you know? So that's why these little ephemera, folio, booklet, <coughs> excuse me, kind of pieces are so fun, you know? And they can be, really simple you can dress them up doll them up as much as you want and each time you can make it different and they'll look completely different working with the same pieces basically okay now as you're watching me make this don't think oh I don't have that digital I can't make it one you can hop over to the Facebook group and um, join the group. And then you have access to all the digitals, which they put out free little digitals every, I don't know. I, I don't get all of them. I just, once that catch my eye, I'll, uh, I'll download. But they, you know, every day, every week, quite a, quite a lot. So gives you a lot of free um, papers to work with. And then, you know, you post what you make with those projects. All right. Got everything cut out, guys. That only took about 10 minutes. Now we're going to form our envelope here. Um, like I said, if you don't have the digital, but you're interested in making something like this, I'm sure you have um, a little template of an envelope like this, or just free, free draw, make your own, or use recycled envelopes. Use two regular, any size envelopes that you already have. It doesn't have to be this shaped envelope, okay? But I just immediately, like I said, I saw this and I've been wanting to use this technique that we're gonna do here in a minute. Um, Cause I've seen it used many, many times on um, Instagram and YouTube, but I've never actually done it. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? This is the project for it. And this is just thinking outside the box. Normally with this digital, somebody would look at it and think, oh, what a pretty envelope, right? Let me dress up this envelope and use it as a pocket in my journal. Basically, that's kind of the, you know, the basic use for these, you know, decorate it up, doll up the front of the envelope and um, use it in your journals, right? Use it as a pocket, use it as a tuck spot, well, this is thinking outside the box, and we're going to do something different with these pe this piece today. Okay. All right, the hard part is done. All the cutting and the forming. Let's put our envelopes together. There's one. So they don't always have to be used as, you know, maybe a normal intention 
um, or thought would be for. Okay. All right. Two envelopes, two strips, and then double on everything else as well. Okay. Before we go any further, we're going to do a little bit of inking. I'm just going to use Vintage Photo. I'm just going to lightly hit all the edges. Because again, once we get this piece put together, it becomes more difficult to do inking around the edges. Okay, so it's best if you're going to be doing inking to do it first, which I don't always use my own advice. Sometimes I start out and I don't ink and then I end up changing my mind. But I think that brown and green looks really, really well together. Okay. Now I'm just giving you an idea. You can take this idea and run with it and make it your own. Like I said, I'm just trying to think outside the box and do something a little bit different with this beautiful digital. Okay. going to be actually like a booklet so that's why I chose to strengthen these pieces with some poster board or you know you can use cardstock or you know something like that Take away those white edges. I'm not sure how I'm going to use these. I'm thinking using them as embellishments, but just in case, I want to have the edges ready and inked. Okay, and I'll cut these away as I see I'm going to use them. Okay, everything's inked, guys. So we have together all together four tags. Okay, and these two strips. Now what I'm gonna do with the strips is I'm gonna cut them in one inch, cut them down to every one inch, okay? And I want them all the same, so I'm gonna use my grid. I know it's kind of nitpicking, but I want them all the same length. I'm gonna do a little one. You know what I'm gonna do? I think it'll be easier. So I'm gonna put little notches every one inch. And then I'm gonna do them both at the same time. See, they give me two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen little squares. That should be enough. Hopefully, that'll be enough. Okay. Now we're going to put the flap to the outside left and a flap to the outside right, just like that. It's going to be a little book. Okay. 
and the pages of our book are going to be our tags. And since there's two different designs, we're going to offset those, one with the floral, one plain, one floral, one plain. And the way we're going to put this together is we're going to do the tab finding closure. I've never done that. I've seen it done, but I've never actually done it. So um, hopefully this will come out okay for me. Okay. It seems pretty easy, but I've never done it. I'm just putting a little more ink on there. I think I missed a little bit there. Okay. And the way this tab binding is done is you're going to close it up with tabs. Okay. So get everything the way you want it. This is the way my booklet's going to go. And you do either two, three, four, five, however many you want. Um, I think since this is a small project, this envelope is only five and a half. So I'm going to do one right in the middle. So I want it to be even. That's why I wanted the little pieces to be even as well. Okay, and I'm going to try my best to get this even. So halfway mark is right there. We're going to start with three tabs and go from there. And then I'll put the next one right about about there and I'm already looking um, right about there and you want to put your tabs halfway on and halfway off okay so that's how it's gonna look on the very first page and I hope I'm doing this correctly okay so then when you flip it over you're gonna attach these three to there. But I'm seeing here, see how because of the tag shape, this top tab has nowhere really to grab hold of? A little bit. All right, we'll try it. We'll see how it goes. Because I want the tag centered in the middle. Right there, okay. So now we're gonna put these tabs down, okay? And these first two pages will get attached together, just like that. Okay, I don't know, I may cut that away or something. We'll see when we get done. We'll, we're gonna continue. Okay, now the next page, we're gonna offset those and we're gonna do two tabs, okay? So we're gonna come to the second page and I'm gonna have to work in between the little slots and grooves, okay? So line our piece up. Like I said, I hope I don't end up doing this correctly. And then I'm gonna have to go in and slide that in there. And slide another one in there, okay? Let's see. All right, so then this one, okay, to the second page. Okay, I think I got it now. All right, so then we come to the second page, half in and half out. And then these two, the second and the third page will get combined together. Okay, just like that. Line those up. Down we go. Pull them nice and snug as you close the tabs up. All right, so then we've got three pages attached. See what I'm saying? Okay, so now when we come to the third one, we're gonna do, go to the second and the third page. And we're gonna do one, line our pages at one, two, and three. So we're going three, two, three, two, three, two. Okay. All right. So let's get these lined up here. Okay. 
I'm just going to do one at a time. Okay. So I want these tabs to be somewhat identical so they line up fairly well. Okay. those down. And then this last one. And again, it doesn't, oh, see, it slipped on me a little bit. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. Okay, another one for the top. And it just has that corner to grab hold. Try to line that up. And then it goes to this one, to the third, and the fourth page. like that. Okay, then we're going to go to the last one. And this is going to have two tabs. Okay, so we do line them up, go in between those. So three, two, three, two, alternate your tabs. Okay, line those up with the other two. And down we go. Maybe if I do the front first, that'll be a little easier. Okay, so we've got three on the first and the second page. Then we go to two for the second and the third page. And then we go to three, and then we go to two, and then we go to three. And then on the last, we should end up with three. And I've got enough tabs, good. All right, so let's get the last page. And we do three. Everything lined up. I'm just going to do one at a time so it doesn't slip on me too much. There's one. I'm probably making this look a lot more difficult than what it actually is, but this is my first time doing it, so be patient with me. I'm sure you've probably seen this technique, and it's so fun, and I don't know why I haven't done it, but I just haven't. And one more. And then come in and glue down the opposite sides.
Okay. Here we go. And we've got ourselves a cute, cute, cute little booklet. Look at that. Got a little pocket pouch there. Tab page, tab page, tag page, tag page, and another little pocket there. It's all put together just like that. Isn't that cute? I love it. Okay, now I even have a piece left over. Now let's decorate. Now let's decorate. Now I'm trying to make a project with using basically just the freebie, okay? Now, of course, we can bring in some of our own elements and dress it up as much as we want, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of merchandise that's put out there for us for free. Okay, without, you know, say, well, I don't have that or I don't have that. Just a fun make. Cut this out here. All right, now we're ready. All right, let's start with the front cover. I am loving. Let's maybe try a small one and a big one. Okay, let's start with that. Unclog my glue. Ready? Maybe. Oh, let's see what's going on here. want to use glue stick on these pieces because they have been backed with the poster board so they're a little bit thicker and I want to make sure um, that they're going to stay down the glue stick you know they might want to pop back up okay so now we're just going to use the elements that are provided for us and just decorate this little piece Not really thinking too much about it. Just putting it down. Um, let's do one of these. This will be our little mushroom. Folio. And as you can see, look at that. It's going to be thin enough where we can tuck it in, like I said, into a journal or just use it as a cute little standalone piece. Whatever you want to do. I want to get a different number. And I like the fact, as I'm grabbing these and looking at them, the, di the dimension. Some of them are on poster board, some of the little ephemera pieces, and some aren't. So some are flat against the page, and some are a little bit raised. Look at that already. Isn't that cute? Oh, how cute. Okay, let's see what we can do with the next page. Um, okay, so goodies can go in there. 
So should we put something maybe on the flap? Why not? The mushroom. Right there in the center. Maybe one of the numbers? What do you think? Yep, very cute. All right, now, these are tags. Normally we decorate the front and leave the back blank space for writing, but let's change it up. Let's leave the front for writing since it's so beautiful and the tone is very light. You have plenty of room for journaling or writing or something there. Let's decorate the white side, okay? Um, now we could bring some, like I said, I'm just trying to work with what we've got now. You can bring in some stamping, you can bring in some collaging and do whatever you wanna do. Um, I think I'm going to use one of these. And let's do... Kind of center it there. Here's one of these. Try to fill up some of that space there. Right straight. That looks pretty good. And hmm. let's do another one of these stamps. And maybe another number. Bring this to the bottom here. Look how cute. Oh, I love how that's coming along. Very cute. Okay, so writing. And then we'll decorate this side. Um, let's do this cutie. Oh, let's see. I'm just looking at my pieces here. Let's bring this one right in the middle. And what do we got left? Let's do another stamp. Our object is to use up all these, so... This would look great like in a botanical, woodland, earthy, you know, because of the colors. Um, let's use a black one this time. It's darker labels. Tuck it in a pocket. Very cute. Okay, again, journaling on that side, and then let's decorate this side. And we have two more tags. So let's bring this piece back in, do the same, center it right in the middle, I think. I mean, look at how much, how many, should I say, pieces we have to work with. And these are all free, guys. 
All I have to do is just, you know, print them out. So if you haven't checked out the channel, please do so. I think you'll enjoy it. There's there's so many out there. Um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, Playing With Paper and Glue Facebook group. And they provide you with a whole bunch of freebies. So, and you get a lot of inspiration. Everybody posts their projects. Just support others that enjoy the same hobby as you and craft. All right, let's do, I don't know, let's do, let's do this one. Um, I need to get another number. Cute, cute, okay, journaling, and then we'll decorate this side. And what do we have left? We have this big one. And we'll just center that right in the middle. Stamps left. Let's do that right here. And we need something down here. Let's do a number of like a specimen tab journal, huh? Okay, and we put something on the flap over on there, so let's do the same on this end. Get a little ink on these. A little mushroom tab folio. Very cute. All right, we still, look at that, we're done already. And we still have pieces to go with. Um, let's put something right there. Let's see, maybe something on the back. Why not? down here in the bottom corner and let's do another number okay what else do we have um, that looks pretty full there. We still have some little labels here, three or four. Go back 
through and see where we can add something. Okay, journaling. And we've already got a number on that one, so I don't want to double up. Well, we could. We could put a dark one right there. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's good and I've got two numbers left over and then these little cut off and uh, one little tab piece and then the little edges so look at that guys just out of a digital and I did duplicate it and, and print it twice but look at what cute cute little project we made this is three and three fourths by five and a half. And we've got ourselves a cute little tag folio using the tab method binding. Look at that little tuck in some ephemera pieces in there. Journaling spot, journaling spot, journaling spot, journaling spot, and then tuck in some goodies there. Of course, this could be modified. You could put yourself some pockets on there. Uh, the, the possibilities are endless, guys. But this is just one idea, thinking outside the box, taking an envelope and a few ephemera pieces and turning it into a really cute booklet, ephemera booklet. Look at that, using the tab method for um, binding. And I think I did that right. They're almost, they're almost straight and lined up, but... Did pretty good for my first try. I'm pleased with it. What do you think? I think it's adorable. Okay, well that is my fun Friday freebie make for you guys, guys. All right, hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. And like I said, if you would like this freebie, if you wanna go hop over and check out the um, Facebook site, uh, the group and uh, join and then you got access to all their freebies all right but that's my make for today thank you so very much for stopping by my channel i would love it if you found something of value on this video today that you would hit that subscribe button leave me a comment and a like but as always take care and god bless i'll see you soon bye bye